Please. Okay, great. This meeting is recorded. <laughs> so we'll be starting our annual stockholders meeting of Santa Lucia Land Incorporated. So my name is Jem, and I'll be just to the facilitator of this meeting uh, <clears throat> together with the chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the annual stockholders meeting of Santa Lucia Land Incorporated being conducted by a video conference. I can request all participants to keep their microphones on mute. We shall start our proceedings with an opening prayer preceded by the Philippine National Anthem. So let's put ourselves in the breast of the Lord, name the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Lord, guide our meeting today. And as we pray, we it up to you everything for this meeting. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was at the beginning, it's now and never shall be the world without that in and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We shall now play the Philippine National Anthem. Thank you very much. We shall now begin the meeting proper. We welcome our chairman, Vicente Arsar Santo. Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. In view of the health and safety concern due to the COVID-19, and to safeguard the interests of the stockholders and participants of today's meeting, the annual stockholders meeting is an online only event. On behalf of the Board of Directors and Management of Santa Lucia Land, I wish to extend my warmest welcome and appreciation for the participation of our stockholders at today's annual stockholders meeting. Joining us today are the directors and officers of the corporation. Uh, Mr. De Santos, Chairman, Executive of Vice President, David, Executive Vice President, and CFO and Chief Case Officer. Marisa Santos, Aurora B. Robles, Assistant Treasurer. Colonel Patricia Secretary. Attorney Patrick, Assistant Corporate Secretary. Attorney Crystal Prado, Assistant Corporate Secretary. Mr. Jeremiah Pampolina. Chief Compliance Officer, Ace Francis Muntapai, Internal Community Officer, Director D. Robles, Antonio D. Robles, Aurora D. Robles, Semyon S. Brito Santos, and Juez de Santos. I will now call the meeting to order. The first order of business is the certification of the secretary of the sending of due notice to all the stockholders of the corporation and the determination of existence of the whole. May I request the secretary to be certified to the proper sending of the notice and the existence of the whole consistent with the corporation's bylaws. Mr. Chairman. For purposes of this annual stockholders meeting, notice is hereby given that the proceedings are being recorded in accordance with the Anti-Wiretapping Act in relation to SEC Memorandum Circular No. 6, Series of 2020. Accordingly, I hereby certify that notices of today's annual stockholders meeting have been published in the business section of two newspapers of general circulation. 
the Manila Bulletin and Business Mirror on June 3 and 4, 2021, in print and online format, in compliance with SEC notice dated March 16, 2021. On June 15, 2021, the corporation amended the notice as approved by the Securities and Exchange Commission Markets and Securities Regulation Department in its order number 29, series of 2021. In compliance therewith, a copy of the order was published in a newspaper of general circulation, the Manila Bulletin, on June 17, 2021. In addition, the amended notice was published for two consecutive days in the business section of two newspapers of general circulation, the Manila Bulletin and Business Mirror, in print and online format. Moreover, electronic copies of the notice of today's meeting, information statement, and management report and annual report are available on the corporation's website and disclosed on PSE Edge. Further, I have examined all proxies on file and the list of stockholders present at today's meeting. On the basis of my examination, I certify that out of the total number of shares outstanding as of May 21, 2021, the holders of 1,427,999 shares are present through remote communication, while the holders of 6,701,000,000 5,767 shares are present by proxy. For a total of 6,702,433,766 shares registered as present. This represents 81.77% of the total outstanding shares. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, I certify that the quorum is present for the transaction of business by the stockholders. Thank you, Mr. Kisari. I hereby declare the issuance of a quorum. Pursuant to Section 49 of the Revised Corporation Code, may I request the Secretary to please discuss the material information of the current stockholders and their voting rights. Mr. Chairman, Based on the list of stockholders as of May 21, 2021, prepared by the corporation's stock transfer agent, there are 263 stockholders of the corporation. With regard to their voting rights, at each meeting of the stockholders, every stockholder shall be entitled to vote in person or by proxy, through remote communication or in absentia, for each share of stock held by him which has voting power upon the matter in question. A majority of the subscribed capital present in person or represented by proxy shall be sufficient to constitute a quorum for the election of directors and for the transaction of any business whatsoever, except in those cases in which the revised corporation code requires the affirmative vote of a greater portion. A description of the voting procedure for the election of directors and except upon demand by any stockholder, the votes upon any question before the meeting, except for the procedural questions determined by the chairman of the meeting, is available on the corporation's website. A description of stockholders' voting rights was included in the definitive information statement of the corporation, copies of which are available in the corporation's website or on PSE Edge. Thank you, Mr. We shall proceed to the next item in the agenda. The next item of the agenda is the review and approval of the minutes of annual stockholders meeting held on the 20th of August, 2020. Copies of the said minutes are available on the corporation website. May I request the secretary to discuss the proposed resolution and voting result for this agenda item? Mr. Chairman, the adoption of the resolution being flashed on the screen is being proposed. Of the votes cast, 100% of the shares represented in the meeting voted in favor of the resolution. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, the resolution is approved. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We Next item in the 
report of the board of directors. I now call on our Mr. Chairman, the profiles and qualifications of the directors were included in the definitive information statement of the corporation, copies of which are available on the company's website or in PSEH. For the year 2020-2021, the meetings held were as follows. Annual stockholders meeting dated August 20, 2020. Organizational meeting of the board of directors, August 20, 2020. Special meeting of the board of directors, dated December 10, 2020 and special meeting of the board of directors dated March 12, 2021. The attendance report to the board of directors is as follows. Vicente R. Santos, four meetings. Exequiel D. Robles, four meetings. Marisa Santos, Tan, four meetings. Aurora D. Robles, four meetings. Antonio D. Robles, four meetings. Simeon S. Pua, four meetings. Orestes R. Santos, four meetings. Jose Ferdinand R. Guillen, four meetings. Mundo C. De Guzman Jr. for me. The related party transactions involving the board of directors were included in the definitive information statement of the corporation, copies of which are available on the corporation's website or on PSEH. With regard to the compensation report, the directors do not receive any form of compensation except in the case of directors for a per DM of 15,000 pesos per meeting of the board of directors. Apart from the per DM in the amount of 15,000 pesos, there are no standard arrangements or other arrangements between the corporation and the director. The next item on the agenda is the consideration of the report of the president. And the to present the report of the president. Good morning to our stockholders, Central Shell Land Incorporated Board of Directors and Officers and special VIP guests. Year 2020 saw the deepest recession in the global economy. Philippine GDP contracted by 9.5% its first con contraction since the Asian financial crisis in 1998. It was a year of extreme challenges for all companies, including Santa Lucia Land Incorporated. The pandemic had realigned the economy's landscape. The reduction in mobility in the work and school from home practice saw the rise in electronic commerce, which resulted to an increase in internet capacities. This has partially resulted to a shift within the real estate sector as the new normal has prompted the economy to revisit residential and commercial areas outside the central business districts. According to the Colors International Report, land banking in areas outside Metro Manila could result to a repositioning from the urban port to the major rural areas. This will lead to a much needed decentralization in key cities and provinces. Our 2020 financial performance has reflected this shift. Despite the GDP decline, we were able to generate gross revenues of 6.7 billion along with a net income of 1.6 billion, a mere 12% and 2% decline respectively compared to the 2019 we have managed our balance sheet well as a total asset increased by 13% from 40.3 billion to 45.7 billion. Santa Lucia Land has continued to capitalize on its key strength of developing horizontal assets. In 2020, we continue to expand our presence in the following areas, Batangas, Laguna, Visal, Bataan, Pangasinan, Bulacan, Pampanga, Sambales, Palawan, Iloilo, Gabao, Surigao del Norte. Last February 2020, your company was awarded the Silver Quality Service Award by Reader's Digest 
for excellence in service and customer satisfaction. This is a testament to our continuous improvement and development in our aim to serve our customers with the highest standard of excellence. It was unprecedented time for the company and the country with the world seemingly behind us. We look forward to a recovery and an even stronger 2021 and onwards. We would like to thank our board, our management team and partners who have been with us as we continue to provide quality real estate community development to our client. Thank you. Uh, we shall proceed to the next item uh, in the agenda. In accordance with the standard corporate practice, the next item on the agenda is the request for the ratification of all acts of the board of directors and management of the corporation from 20 of August 2020 to 24 of June 2021. May I request the to discuss the problem? Proposed resolution voting result for this agenda item. Mr. Chairman, the list of all acts of the Board of Directors and the management of the corporation from August 20, 2020 to June 24, 2021 are being flashed on the screen. Further, the adoption of the resolution being flashed on the screen is being proposed. Of the votes cast, 100% of the shares represented in the meeting voted in favor of the resolution. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, the resolution is approved. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. We shall proceed to the next item of the agenda. Pursuant to the provision of the bylaws, the members of the board of directors will have to be elected for the year 2021-2022. Pursuant to the amended bylaws of the corporation, on the nomination procedure for the corporation independent directors, I and Mr. and the President, Mr. Ezekiel Robles, submitted signed nomination to the Corporate Governance Committee. The Corporate Governance Committee then pre-screened the nomination and disclosed the name of the nominees as EC in the Corporation Information Statement. With regards to the seven members of the Board of Directors of the Corporation for the year 2021-2022, the stockholders have submitted the signed nomination to the Corporate Governance Committee. The Corporate Secretary is now requested to announce the nominees for the Independent Directors of the Corporation for the year 2021-2022 as shortlisted by the Nomination Committee and the nominees for the directors of the corporation for the year 2021-2022. The following are the nominees for independent directors of the corporation for the year 2021-2022. Retired Court of Appeals Justice Renato C. Francisco and Danilo A. Antonio. The following are the nominees for directors of the corporation for the year 2021-2022. Vicente R. Santos, Ezequiel D. Robles, Antonio D. Robles, Aurora D. Robles, Marisa Santos Tan, Orestes R. Santos, and Simeon S. Cua. The qualifications of the nominees were included in the definitive information statement of the corporation, copies of which are available in the company's website or on PSE Edge. A request for the voting result for this agenda item. Mr. Chairman, based on the tally of votes, as confirmed by the transfer agent, Professional Stock Transfer Incorporated, the two nominees for independent directors and seven nominees for directors of the corporation are declared duly elected as directors of the corporation for the year 2021 to 2022. The votes garnered by each director based on the number of shares represented in this meeting are shown on the screen. The total election votes amounted to 100%. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. We shall proceed to the next item in the agenda. The next item in the agenda is the amend amendment of the bylaws of the corporation to authorize the stockholders to vote through remote communication or absentia 
pursuant to the section 49 of the revised corporation code. May I request the secretary to discuss the proposed resolution and voting is on for this agenda item. Mr. Chairman, the amendment of the provisions being flashed on the screen is being proposed. Of the votes cast, 100% of the shares represented in the meeting voted in favor of the resolution. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, the resolution is approved. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We shall proceed to the next item in the agenda. The next item in the agenda is the ratification of the sale of the three billion share of stocks through a follow-on offering as previously approved during the annual stock holders meeting held last 21st of June 2013. May I request to discuss the proposed resolution and voting result for this agenda item? Mr. Chairman, the adoption of the resolutions being flashed on the screen is being proposed. Of the votes cast, 100% of the shares represented in the meeting voted in favor of the resolutions. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, the resolutions are approved. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. We shall proceed to the next item in the agenda. Every year, the stockholders appoint an external auditor of the corporation for the ensuing years. This agenda item is for the appointment of CCIP Gores Belayo and Company as the external auditor of the corporation for the calendar year 2021-2022. May I request the secretary to discuss the proposed resolution and voting result for this agenda item? Mr. Chairman, the adoption of the resolution being flashed on the screen is being proposed. Of the votes cast, 100% of the shares represented in the meeting voted in favor of the resolution. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, the resolution is approved. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. We shall proceed to the next item of the agenda. In behalf of the Board and Management of Santa Lucia Land Incorporated, I would like to acknowledge the presence of that valuable contribution of Mr. Postman, Mr. Postman, Mr. Postman, and Mr. Jose Pernatia, who has both served as independent director since 2004. Considering the term as independent director and expiring our Mr. Chairman, uh, there are no questions sent by email on the deadline. So this concludes our question and answer portion. As stated in the guidelines, we will reply to all other questions and comments by sending an email directly to the stockholders. I will now turn over the floor to the chairman. Okay, are there really no other matter to, this, to be considered for this meeting? This meeting is adjourned, and thank you for participating in the 2021 annual stockholders meeting of the corporation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for attending our stock, you know, stockholders meeting. Thank you for being here, and thank you very much, everyone. for coming. Thank you, uh, Omnane, for coming. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, PSTI. Thank you, SGB. Thank you, Attorney Prado. We'll now end the meeting.